vlog, The Huffling Mouse. My name is Stacy, and for today's episode, we are going to do a mystery pin unboxing. So I received this month's shipment of Pin Trading Monthly. Um, there are a total of 10 pins in here. All of them are assorted mystery pins. So today, you get to join me as I open the box. I've not peeked, I've not cheated. We get to find out what pins I receive together. So let's get started. So to get us started, I've already broken the tape seal down at the bottom. So all we have to do is flip the lip open. Ink that back a bit. Okay, the first item in the box is always this little welcome card. Um, it gives you all of their social media contacts, the website contact. Um, they have contest. I don't really enter the contest, so I've not been a winner of that. And on the back, it says, thank you for your order. We hope you enjoy your pins. All of our boxes are different. Pins are hand selected, inspected, packed, and shipped. Again, it gives some information about entering the giveaways. This is a subscription that I personally purchase and pay for, so it's not sponsored by Pin Trading Monthly. I've checked some of the images other pin collectors that receive Pin Trading Monthly have posted on Instagram. And yes, um, they've received a different variety of pins than I have, so that statement about um, each of the boxes being different is a very true and valid statement. So moving the first level of tissue paper off to the side, let's see what the first pins are. Okay. Okay, so we have the Mickey Mouse ice cream bar pin. In the previous pin video, we looked at the Pluto ice cream bar. So Mickey ice cream bars from the same series, part of a matching set. Let's put him over here. The next pin is one of the Princess Purse pins. This is from Sleeping Beauty. It has Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather bows, and their little wand going across the top, making the handle of the pin. I'm not a big fan of the purse pins, so this one will be added to my traders. Okay, and then the next pin on the top layer is Falcon. I don't really collect the Marvel pins. I actually trade these to my brother-in-law. So I'll be rehoming Falcon to my brother-in-law the next time we connect together. Next layer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Donald, I'm going to shift you to the side because there are two pins here that go with two of my collections. First is an antenna topper styled Mickey ear pin. This is Sorcerer Mickey. I am excited to be able to add him to my Sorcerer Mickey collection. So this one is definitely a keeper. Actually, I'm going to put the keepers over here. The next pin, I don't think I have this as a duplicate. I could be mistaken is a Maleficent in Dragon form. It says Phantasmic Dragons. I love Phantasmic. I love Maleficent. She is one of my top villain characters to collect. If this one is a duplicate, it will probably go to my traders or I might do something a little different with it. I haven't decided, but I'm excited to get a pin that goes with one of my collections. So that one's gonna go off to the other side. I'm not sure what series this one's from. Um, I haven't seen any of these pins yet. We have Donald Duck. He's got his little arms crossed. He's smiling. I don't really have a Donald Duck collection, so this may end up being a trader. And let's look at our last layer of pins. All right, so here... All right, so here we have... Aladdin and Jasmine. This is from the Couples series. I believe I may already have this pin. So 
a lot of times with my parents, my daughter and I will divvy up the ones that we like the best. This one might end up joining my daughter's collection because again, I believe I have this one. So I'm gonna put this one off to the side. Not a fan so much of this one. This is a Stormtrooper helmet pin. It's got some colored pattern designs. I don't have a Star Wars pin collection. Um, my brother-in-law does collect Star Wars. I may be gifting this one to him. And if not, this is definitely going to be a traitor because this one does not fit in any of my collections. So next we have the Peter Pan donut pin. There's a whole series of different donuts. I know that there's a Mickey, a Donald, a uh, Cheshire Cat, a Stitch Donut. My daughter likes the donut pins, so this, I believe, is gonna be joining her collection. So she'll be very happy to have the Peter Pan donut. And last but not least is Linguini in Simpson form. As I mentioned previously, I'm not a big fan of the human Simpson pins. But the nice thing about this one, he's going to go straight to my daughter because she's taking culinary arts in her high school courses. So this will be part of her little chef collection. And so I think she'll be very excited to receive him. So today's pin boxing was really, really good. I'm excited that you were able to join me for it. Real quick, we're going to review the pins that were in this month's shipment and go over the status of them. So first up are the two that fit very nicely with my collections. We have Mickey Sorcerer hat and his robe. This will go very lovely with my Sorcerer Mickey collection. This is my favorite version of Mickey. We also have Maleficent Fantastic Dragon. This one will be joining my Maleficent collection. And if I have a duplicate, I might do something as far as adding it to a set of ears or a cap or something. I haven't quite decided, but I have to review my collection to see if this is indeed a duplicate. Next up are the three that will be joining my daughter's collection. We have Aladdin and Jasmine the, from the couple series, Peter Pan Donut, and Linguini Tsum Tsum with this little chef hat. My daughter does collect the princesses and I already have this as part of my princess collection. She's also quite fond of donuts, so Peter Pan Donut will fit very nicely with hers. And as I mentioned, she's taking culinary arts as part of her high school courses. So Linguini wearing his little chef hat is perfect for representing her time in culinary arts. The next step for recap are the Stormtrooper Helmet and Falcon. This is from a whole series of Stormtrooper helmets that are all different designs. Um, again, my brother-in-law collects Star Wars pins, so this may be part of his collection, and if not, it's going to be going for a trader. Falcon, however, will definitely be joining his Marvel series collection. Um, we often trade pins back and forth, so I'll be engaging in a little pin trading there. And the final three pins from this month's subscription box are Donald Duck, the Sleeping Beauty, fairies purse and a Mickey ice cream bar. More than likely these will be added to my traders which are listed on pin picks. I'll put that link down again below if anyone is interested in doing a little pin trading. I definitely welcome that opportunity. So thank you for joining me on this episode of the Huffling Mouse. I enjoyed sharing my pin subscription with you and reviewing the pin please give this video a like, um, be sure to subscribe, and hit the little bell down at the bottom for your notification. Again, I'll be listing the link to pin picks. You are welcome to contact me through there to do a little pin trading, see which pins I have listed that are up for trade, see which pins I am currently searching for. And that's gonna conclude this video. Thanks again. Bye.